Hi, I am Dr. Subhash Chandra, the International Cardiologist and Electrophysiologist at Narendra Mohan Hospital. Now today I will discuss about the electrical problems of the heart, what we call as arrhythmias, the rhythm disturbances. You know heart for its contractility needs its own natural pacemaker which gives the electrical supply to it and it makes it contract at a rate of 70 per minute in a healthy human being. Now whenever there is a drop in this rate, the condition is called as bradyarrhythmia or bradycardia. If the rate has dropped below 40 or 35, in that case the person is bound to faint on account of low blood supply to the brain. And this recurrent fainting is because of the slowing of the heart will eventually require a supplement of electrical energy from outside. And that electrical energy is given in the form of a pacemaker implantation. Initially a temporary pacemaker for time being followed by a permanent pacemaker which lasts for 10 to 15 years on a normal course. Now apart from the Brady arrhythmias there is something called as tachyarrhythmia in which the very fast heartbeat like you see here on this ECG over here a very fast heartbeat we call as ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation is responsible for sudden death in these patients and this sudden death can also be prevented by giving a specialized pacemaker meant for tachyarrhythmias called as AICD or automatic implantable cardioverter defibrillator. This pacemaker again has two or three ports and is kept inside the body through a very small operation under local anesthesia and one of the wires is capable of identifying the fast heartbeat or what we call as ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation and instantly this pacemaker is capable of giving shock from inside into the heart and save patient's life. So this is a very invaluable device in terms of increasing the longevity of cardiac patients. When the heart rate drops to a level of 35 or 40 on account of a complete heart block, then it leads to recurrent unconsciousness or syncope and that can be cured by a simple pacemaker which has two wires which sit in your heart and the pacemaker sits under the clavicle or the collarbone and this gives energy or the electrical stimulus for the heart's contractility and bring up the heartbeat to a level of 70. Now these two devices have been extremely invaluable. A third variety of pacemakers which have come recently in market are called as cardiac resynchronization therapy. And this therapy is meant for patients who have weak heart or heart failure. Now this special device has three wires which will sit into the three chambers of the heart and after sensing from the smaller chamber, the two big chambers will be contracted by the pacemaker and thus improving the contractility of heart and reducing the symptoms of the patient. This device is also extremely invaluable and sometimes patients who have weak heart are prone to have recurrent tachyarrhythmias or the fast heartbeat what we call as ventricular tachycardia. Now this cardiac resynchronization therapy or CRT can be combined with AICD and in that event it is called as a combo device. The usual cost of the device is approximately 4 to 8 lakhs but this cost is worth the device because it goes a long way in preventing the sudden death in these patients and increases their lifespan. So I hope I'm clear that pacemakers can improve the quality of your life and can increase the number of years in your life. Thank you.